Alrighty. Let's get back into this game. I totally think I sh would have been able to switch everything, but I did not. Let's go. We're just gonna play this one as a soldier. It's just how this is working right now. Well, but we are back in good old Mass Effect 1. We were... We had just met Garrus and Tally. I do not have Garrus out at the moment. I have Tally and Ashley. Ashley is who we met on Eden Prime. The planet was getting attacked. But... Unknown, I think they're, yeah, they're called the Geth. They're a type of robot species. We are trying to figure out why. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Good. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. <coughs> Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, so apparently we're gonna go help this person's wife real quick. He's in the bar over here. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, Eden Prime was attacked by Geth, and we think Saren was in charge of it. But we don't have no we don't have any concrete proof. Other than we did have a witness, but they don't take, the council didn't take it as, um, like, proof because they thought he was under distress, so. Where's it? It's this bar, isn't it? Is it back here? It's Palin. Sky, here we go. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities yep. made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. Uh. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I thought my renegade was going to go up for that. I didn't mean to grab the guy. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, you should tell the, the dude the truth. I should talk to this dude. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? <laughs> uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Oh, tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Lame. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so let's go talk to Smash. 
I'll note, yeah, his wife is otherwise detained. I think I gave her, gave her back to him last time. I don't know, I've only played this game once before. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? There. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. I can't do the other one. Bow oh, down. It is unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Can I talk back to him after I do? <laughs> I don't have the charm. I have intimidate. Please let me know what can be done. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Nerali. That's why they won't release the body. Yes, you told me as much. I don't care what the military wants for her. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Samesh, right now, more people are going to die unless the military <laughs> runs angry. those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. The Geth killed your wife. And they will kill a lot more if we don't run those tests. You think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. Yes, she is, Mr. Batia. She died fighting for what she believed in. She sacrificed her life to keep you safe. I think she'd want to make the most of that sacrifice. You're right, Miss Williams. She would not flinch from her duty. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Man, I need to get that charm up. That was bad. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, oh. you can see the Citadel Tower. Where the council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar oh. importance. Goodbye. I have a journal that tells me what I need to do. Okay, let's go. And go to the tower. Bye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Citadel Tower. Let's go into the tower. Get this show on the road. I got the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Uh-oh. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. 
I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander right, Shepard, step forward. So I get to become a Spectre, we get to go head down Saren, and the council doesn't look like it's causing a galactic-wide world war. Oh, I just got an achievement! Complete five missions with a soldier. Oh yeah, I'm actually perfect. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Okay, that's that. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you.
What do you expect <sighs> from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Okay, now I can do special training. Which is down in C Sect. So Oh, he's like um trying to research those guys. Alright, we are in C sec now. Let's um I think he's done here. There's a little green dot down here, so it kind of makes sense. Yep. Resistance officer. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Alright, I have no money, so. <laughs> I can get a grenade up there. Oh, I need to buy that. I'm going to have an upgrade. I'm not a biotic, so that is kind of useless. <laughs> mm, really. Allie is gonna. Oh, she's almost full description. There's some more armor. Perfect. Where am I going first? Uh... Okay, I need to go to the dock. So I'm already in C sec. So let's go ahead and hit up there. Get off that. Oh, I was walking to the wall just for a second. I was checking for achievements on the game as well. But that is not that big a deal. Oh, that's the In other news, button. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that I one of the their survey one. teams the other has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey... So I honestly no longer have to take Ashley anywhere. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Okay, so I don't think I need to do any certain other achievements just with certain In breaking news, Chairman Burns characters. of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Should've Gamma Cluster. Biotic. No demands have yet been made.
wonder if I could change. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. He be salty like that. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go to the Tau Cluster. We're going to go get meet Dr. Liara. Into the Normandy. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in shore party. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Crew, this is Commander Shepard. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I got Paragon. Let's see. Let's go up here. This is the map. The ma I think the map's pretty cool. I have to do it from the other side. I'm like, why is everyone? Oh, before we get to the map, let's go see where everyone's at. Everyone has their own spot to hang out in. So this is the briefing chamber, like briefing room. I can find doors. Here we go. All right. 
Everyone has their own spot they like to chill. Yeah, so this is, um... Doctors over here. This is Med Bay. So Doctor Cho Doctor Chakwas. Let's go downstairs. Rex is in a cargo hold, I believe. That's where he hangs out. Oh, that's right. Everyone, I don't have that many levels on this one. So yeah, here's Garrus. Thanks for bringing you me talk on to board, everyone. Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Hi, Garrus. Garrus is cool. Oh yeah, you can equip everyone down here too. So we also have yeah, some more lockers down here. Rex's, Cadence. I didn't see Caden. Caden's normally in the hall. What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Our training's supposed to make us able to adapt. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Man. Not the biggest fan of Ashley. I probably, I probably should talk to her, but I don't like talking to her. She is very like anti-alien, and I don't like it because I like a lot of these characters. Like Garrus is awesome. And Rex is just a, <laughs> a big brooding type. Nice ship, to him. God, Shepherd. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our oh, entire wow. race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection? that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Oh, Shepherd. I was gonna keep talking. Can I talk to him again? Shepard. 
What can you Turbage. tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Okay. We're not gonna get the whole story from him right now. I do know a good deal about the Genophage, but I will not spoil it right now because it is interesting to find out over the course of the game. Not only from Rex, but from other people that we get aboard the ship. But yeah, the Genophage has infected the Krogan, and yeah, it makes it where their children do not survive very long. After birth, or even if the Krogan stays pregnant. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Tally. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? That doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. 
I want to talk about something else. Like what? Let's see if I can get her to talk about why she wears her suit. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I cool. Go. That was a pretty good, rough explanation about what Corians are. Corians, they have to wear the suit because they, since they've been isolated on their flotilla for so long, they do not have an immune system. So if she takes her suit off, she could very well she'll die, just die. <laughs> And you don't ever see her without her suit on. Even in future games, I don't think you can get her to take it off. And she has a romance option in 2 and 3. So you can, like, potentially romance her, but yeah, you don't ever see her without the suit and, like, helmet. That's where... Uh, and when we get more crew members, they'll hang out in other places. Like, I think Liara... Uh, chills down on the deck below us. Open the map. Map's pretty cool. Zoom out. Alright, so this is Citadel. Okay. And so, this is the Milky Way. <laughs> We're still in the same galaxy, which is pretty nice. I don't think we can go to Earth quite yet. The Hydra. I have an assignment to go to that. Yeah, they all look different too. They're all really cool. So we're gonna go. Yeah, so we're gonna undock from the Citadel, and we're gonna start flying. And off we go.
small terrestrial boy. You guys think I can go to this one? Only one can be landed on in each system. Usually. Yeah, then you get like a short description of all of them. So, yeah, we're gonna go to Theorem. Land on this one. Uh, let's take. Take Garrus, because Garrus is awesome. I like Rex. Caden and Garrus, a little bit of everything. You kind of want your squad to be kind of balanced. I like to try to keep mine balanced-ish. Not perfectly, of course, but just a little bit more than nothing in one bar. I you Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Sounds like a warthog with Halo. If y'all <laughs> have ever played in any of the Halo games, you have to like just go forward and you have to use. Yeah. I guess in the newer ones, the older ones you, you, you move by turning the camera, but. It's safe to say it, there's Geth present. <laughs> I thought I was going backwards, and I obviously was not. I don't think we can take that strong point head on.
Is that what that? Can I shot against the rocket? Get in here, try to open these doors. Gotta open. Oh, I go on the road. We have to go up here to open the door, don't we? Am I going crazy? I wish there was like a run button. There is not. Hello? Aha! Oh, oh, that's the gate. Cool. on my part. This one. Oh, I ran over the body. <laughs> I ran him over. In the tunnel. I think that's where we're going. I hope so. Ah! 
Don't mind my terrible driving. Alrighty, looks like we're on foot from here, guys. Let's go. I'm trying to use throw, there's an achievement for using it a few times, like 20 times. Will that make it?
I'm having to do with that guy right there. Can I make my, like, aim better? A freaking sniper. I'm on the right planet. I'm not actually so sure. Yep. Oh, I was gonna be a pain in the butt firefight.
that was a pain. There we go. Everyone gets full health. <laughs> that firefight is a pain. I feel like that would be a really awkward uh, elevator ride if we just had our p guns pointed at each other. To Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. I'm going to end the stream here. It's been an hour. I will see everyone again Friday. Everyone have a great day. Bye.